Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode here of a Content Creators University. I am your servant, JP. For those of you who do not know me, I am a cinematographer, uh, software developer, and graphic uh, designer. Also, I'm a branding expert. Uh, for those of you who do not know, so if you want to connect with me, of course, go to my website, jphattech.com. Today, we're here for another awesome show. We have another amazing guest behind the stage that's going to talk to us about how you and I, we can establish our credibility. What are the things that we need to consider? What does that even mean being credible as a content creator? What are the pathways to embrace? We will learn from our guest story, background, and experience as an IT media professional. So you and I, we can learn uh, those things and elevate our offering. Um, you know, our value proposition needs to grow every single time we're coming and we're going on video or any medium in order to broadcast or share what we do to the people right so that's why we're here today if you're new to the channel i want to go ahead and ask you to subscribe to us on youtube um yes youtube channel is youtube.com forward slash jp hat tech reviews uh, for those of you who are listening to this as a podcast i want to welcome you here this is a digital stage where we meet with one of the best minds in the it media uh, industry every single week so we can learn from them right so we can master as we know uh tech is always growing is always evolving so it is important for us to stay rooted, stay grounded, and have places such as Content Creators University that's going to allow us to grow. Like I always say, the day you stop learning, you stop growing. And this is the place where we never stop learning, which means that we are always growing. We're always evolving. We're always learning something new that's going to make us improve or have a step ahead from our brother or sister right next to us, right? That's what this is all about. So um, before I get into anything, let me go ahead and bring another ad from another one of our sponsors and I'll be right back. Stay with me. Right now we're about to talk about who is next in the content creators university before I talk about the image you're looking at. Um, let me let you guys know those sponsors that we have are what uh, is allowing our show to keep going is uh, those are the sponsors that are allowing um, us to keep growing, keep learning, keep connecting um, every week with those amazing, uh, amazing minds that we have coming to the show. Uh, we had uh, Charles Jackson Media at the beginning here and Charles Jackson Media, just like the name says, he's a media company, media professional uh, when it comes down to building your studio, helping you um, elevate uh, what, what you're doing so that you have the crisp, uh, you know, high quality production, whether it's live stream, recording recorded videos or things like that you want to connect with him go to his website charles jackson media uh, charles jackson media actually is his website or connect with him on youtube for the amazing conversations he's having uh, which is again is charles jackson media as well and we have um, our vpn right um, express vpn which is very important as uh, content creators or people online period we are always online always doing something it is important that we keep what we're doing safe protected um, encrypted so that we're not exposing any of our personal information or get any leaks on the web uh, so you want to you go ahead and get yourself a free three month right of expressvpn just go to expressvpn.com forward slash jp high tech three month free you will like that. All right. Go ahead and check it out. And also we have, um, you know, RTN streams. Now I am using Ecamm right now to broadcast this show live onto the Internet on my website. And I'm also broadcasting live onto my Roku TV application and my Fire TV application right now. And I am using a solution called RTN streams to do that. Right. If you're looking for something like that, you want to connect. Go to RTN streams.com. But just like the ad you saw, 
free overlays, right? Who doesn't like free stuff? <laughs> I love free stuff. So go ahead and get yourself those free overlays, just like the one I'm using in this video, right? You want to elevate um, your production, your visuals, or you simply want a certain change, right? You don't want to be um, have some boring things going on. So if you have the same thing going for a long time or you need variety, they're free. Go ahead and download them. You will love that, right? So now we have next coming in the show, we have Keith Pelser. Now, Keith Pelser, he is a professional, um, you know, music producer, right? Um, he was awarded, Grammy awarded, um, and he's a triple platinum um, music producer and songwriter. He will be here with us, right, on July 20th to talk to us about what happens after you get in the spotlight, right? As content creators, we are working hard to get under the spotlight. Well, what happens after that? How do you manage it? How do you handle it? What are the things to consider? Very amazing conversations. And we have more. Um, I've decided today not to give you too much. We have Steve Worthy that's also going to be with us on the 28th. Um, but more to come in the next episode, right? Next week, we have more coming up. Just let you guys know we will not be here tomorrow. We'll be back next Tuesday for another episode. Beside him, we have uh, this man behind stage. His name is James Hicks, right? <laughs> this dude is amazing, right? He is an IT media professional. And I'm telling you, when I say you're in for a treat, buckle up, folks. It's going to be amazing. So um, I'm not going to bring him up right away. Uh, I will bring him right after this ad coming up. Stay ready. Grab your coffee. Today's episode is going to be amazing. I'll see you right after this. Let's go. All right, all right, family. We are about to bring our guests over, but just right now, what you saw that was Reveal TV Network. I'm a family guy, right? I have three beautiful children uh, and a beautiful wife. I'm a family guy, right? So if you're looking for a family friendly platform that you can use to stream movies, TV shows, and things like that, you want to go ahead and check out Reveal TV Network. Just go to the website, revealtv.net. Uh, I personally love it, and I know you will love it as well. Faith based content, um, awesome things going on right there. So without further ado, now let's bring our guest hey 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 welcome to the show man, james man hold up wait a minute let's go ahead and get some <laughs> things going how you doing brother <laughs> i am doing fine man thanks again for accepting the invite to come on to the content creator university so we can learn from you like i would say you are going to be our professor today <laughs> look I'm, yes, sir. I'm, I'm gonna learn from everyone else but look I'm, let's go and get focused here man before we even get started <laughs> I, I'm humbled. I'm honored to just be, like I put in the comments, just be in the midst here, man. You, proud of you and what you're doing, right? The entire platform, the entire, I'm going to call it the empire. The, the JP <laughs> High Tech empire that you're building. And that's what it is. You, you're a mogul, brother. You doing some things that really need to be, we need to give you your flowers. So I, wa I want to be that. someone to give that to you while we live and, and, and on the air right now. And, and, and it should be appreciated and it should be celebrated. So first of all, thank you for, again, the opportunity to come on here and let's talk. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, what a warm, warm welcome. Uh, your, your words are amazing. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. And we're not doing that recorded. We're doing that live. Like I would say, live is one of the most amazing things because what just happen is in the past now we're in the future that's amazing i love, it. I love that <laughs> that's love amazing that. so before we get into a needy and greedy like we always say we always ask every single one of our guests to take a minute introduce yourself uh to the folks that do not know you would you take the time to do that definitely man so i'm a I like how you mentioned as well, how you started. I'm a family man as well. I'm a husband, father, and I'm a technologist, right? Those three things kind of encompass who I am. I've been in the enterprise technology field for probably 30 years or so, working at many of the large Silicon Valley organizations. Uh, I started my content creation journey many years ago, but didn't really take it seriously. So 
my YouTube channel has been around since 2006, but <laughs> I didn't focus on it. I, I was focusing on other things, focused on blogging, focused on podcasting and things like that, but really found within the last 15 months of when the world stopped to focus on video, to focus on those types of uh, avenues for content creation. So since then, really, Hicks New Media has, has grown and blossomed into a number of platforms, a number of sessions that, that I host with some colleagues as well. So we talk about uh, sports, we talk about technology, we talk about business, and we, we, we wrap around that, not just the day-to-day the -day information, but we talk about the social impact of those mm -hmm. aspects as well. So my show, Team No Sleep, right, where we talk about sports, it, it's not just about the sports score, it's not about who's wearing the best shoes, it's about how those athletes, those celebrities, those folks in the center of media are affecting society, especially our youth. Right. I'm a mm -hmm. father. You're a father. So those are the conversations that, that we need to start having more and more. And that, that's part of my content creation journey and, and mission, really, is just to focus on providing relevant value to right. the community, and right. to the audience. Nice, nice. That is amazing the way you uh, laid the foundation to the show, because, I mean, uh, that's what we're talking about today, right? Everything has to do with content creation. Um, but more specifically, today we're talking about building that credibility. How do we even uh, start by building that? What does that even mean to build credibility as a content creator? What does it mean to be credible, right? Uh, before we even talk about that, we got some folks in the comment section. Let's go ahead and give them some shout out real quick. I got my man, Charles Jackson in the comment section hey charles appreciate you yes, being sir. here with us um one of our sponsors always supporting in the comment section below we appreciate that thanks a lot uh, i also have cree uh k cree thanks for being here with us every week we appreciate your presence and like i announced earlier folks we also have steve worthy and he said what's good fellas what's good steve thanks for being in the comment section steve's gonna be with us here to talk about some amazing things on the 28th uh more yeah. to come right stay tuned uh, to the show amazing things and we also have another gladiator in the comment section that's major tone hey major tone thanks for being in the comment section and we also have fh umpire that's Keely done hey Keely, thanks for being here thanks for the support and the love and everything we appreciate you guys uh being here all right folks let's get it popping before i ask you the first question also i have jojo the techie <laughs> right on. yes ma'am right the day you stop learning you stop growing right that's very very true and Might last but not least <laughs> I know, uh, right? <laughs> Last but not least, I got my man um, getting things done. You want to go check him out. He's doing some amazing things yes. as well on his YouTube channel. Uh, nice things, nice productions, and things are happening in the content creating creation sphere. Okay, James. Now we're let's get deep into this, right? You're IT professional. You've been doing this for many, many, many years, but you have not been doing it the same way you're doing it now. Right. Uh, yeah. you, you've you've decided to change things a bit. You've decided to take a different turn. Now, my question to you is, why have you changed the way you're doing things today versus the way you were doing them three years ago? What's the what was the core decision making? Yeah. I mean, and that's a that's a decent question to ask. Right. So I started with WordPress, the platform. I know the starters of that whole project they from automatic you know matt mullenweg and, and the team that started wordpress so i've been really involved in that and wanted to continue to help proliferate that platform the blogging platform and the the, the, the documentation i i thrive actually in writing right I, I i i talk decently i talk for a living every single day i call it the jazz hands when i'm on stage doing a presentation or whatever but i really like to be expressive with text so i started mm -hmm. doing that started having a number of digital platforms where I, I was either blogging about current events blogging about entertainment blogging about sports or technology whatever the case may be and i can be very verbose so that was was fulfilling my needs fulfilling my passions paying for some of the you know the uh, the, the tech budget as well just by doing that but i wanted to continue to tell other people's stories as well Right. So I, I was really kind of focused on me pushing information out when I was blogging, but I, I wanted to be able to have folks get online, turn the lights on, press record and actually shine the spotlight on them. A lot of times folks think they don't have anything interesting to say. And I really I, I really have problems with that because everyone has an audience. Everyone has a community and everyone has an interesting story to say. And, and my charter 
to be honest with you, I feel is to allow folks to express themselves and say what it is that they want to say, how they're feeling in a non-confrontational environment. I, I will debate with someone, right, if, if, it, if it needs to, to elaborate on a partic uh, particular topic or so, but I really mm -hmm. look for, to ha allow folks to say their piece, say their, their, their say in re regardless of whatever the topic is. So really the only blessing of COVID in the last 15 months for me, it, it allowed me to pause, focus on going down this road of video content creation, going down this road of actually saying, let me start bringing in this dynamic of spreading stories, of telling stories, of, of, of building community and talking about messages that matter, right? So really started honing down, focusing on my skill, getting the environments right, getting the tools in place, uh, outsourcing and looking for the right people to build around me to make sure I have a quality uh, collaborative team. And let, let's, I'm gonna give them a shout right now, the whole Ecamm team, the whole Let's Get Live, everyone that's in the audience right now, you guys are the ones that are have helped me to really focus on doing it the right way, right? Mm -hmm. And make, making sure that uh, what I say and what I do is done with professionalism, is done with clarity, is done with focus. So, so again, long story short, last 15 months, the world has stopped, I was able to, to pause and focus on this whole different dynamic of spreading messages and focusing and shining light on community and helping people to just be more, be more appreciative of, of what they are and who they are and the stories they have to tell. Because again, I really, I, I really despise the fact when folks say, you know, what, I don't have anything interesting to say, I'm not an interesting person. I, I completely disagree with that. And I, I want to be one of the caveats or one of the conduits to help bring that that message out to people. Nice, nice. Um, I, I hope folks you're taking note because uh, you've said a whole lot of important things um, and I'm taking note as you're speaking. Right. Now, one of the things my takeaway is that um, you've taken the time to really understand and try to make people understand that you always have something to say. Mm -hmm. You always um, you, you're credible. Right. I should say in a certain aspect of your life, um, in a way or yeah. another. Um, that, that's what I'm taking from what you said. And not only that, right? You've taken the time, like you said, to surround yourself with the right people, build the correct network, right? The, the right network that's gonna allow you to um, achieve what you were trying to achieve, right? And you've taken the time to do the homework before you, you, you took the pivot, right? To, to the things mm -hmm. you're doing now, um, yeah. which is phenomenal. Those are the notes I'm taking now. When we're talking about content creation, um, let's one thing that you know we need to understand is there are multiple medium that will be used. You have audio, you have like you said, blog, writing, uh, you have video, uh, different avenues that is considered content. Um, whenever you write, you're an author. You, that's content that you're pushing out. But right. you specifically, James, you decided to use video. And in the past, you've been using writing more, right? right, uh, right. Now you've, you've decided to use video. Do you believe that um, the reason why you chose video and not, you know, decided to, you know, because there are different ways now that you can still write. You have digital magazines now, right? Um, right. And in different ways that you can still push the writing. But you decided to actually use visuals to speak to the people, to connect, to, to send your messages. Do you believe that will have a better impact um, on the things you're doing? Or you decided to do that simply because you wanted to reach a different type of audience that will not necessarily mm. be the ones that are present um, in the writing sphere because not everybody reads, not everybody wants to, you know, look at right. certain medium or st stuff like that, right? Not everybody listens to podcasts. Um, right. So depending on where you are, you have a different public, a different uh, traffic. Um, are you trying to tap into a different traffic or is just a different strategy? You decided to embrace it and see what will be the outcome of it. I'm really trying to meet my audience, my community where they are, right? Because I think you touched on it, right? Not everyone is going to spend the time reading a blog post. And I took advantage of that. I, I took you know, knowledge of that. And every post on my blog, infotainmentnews.net, it actually automatically transcribes as well. So it'll read the post to you. So if you don't feel like reading 5,000 words, it'll actually read it out loud to you as well. So reaching folks nice. in, in, in another, another aspect. Uh, we also do podcasting as well because again not not everyone wants to read everything they want to be on their on the treadmill working out or do, running errands and they want to just listen to it so podcasting and then video 
don't know if you can tell, I'm kind of expressive when, I, when I'm talking and you can't really do this. You can't emote like this in just text and just audio. So this adds a whole different dynamic, I think, to the conversation. It, it shows the, the, the realism. It shows the, the mm -hmm. emotion. It shows that I'm looking dead into this camera and I'm telling you the truth. I, I'm not looking side eye. I mean, you can't fake that, right? So, and I think video is allowing me to bring a whole different dynamic, a whole different aspect to the same type of content, right? I can turn I can turn one of my video posts into a blog post, and, mm -hmm. and it'll, it'll it'll be it'll be received differently, right? It, I either maybe won't get as many comments or I won't get as many reactions or whatever the case may be. But, you know, something that shows the emotion, something that shows the the truth and the message. And I really think video does that. It, it's it's an interesting uh, it's an interesting dynamic. Now, audio as well, with the whole advent of stuff like Clubhouse and, and stuff like um, Twitter spaces, things like that. Right. That's old communication. But again, it's it's so intriguing because that's just what we do. We, we like to e communicate with folks, but it's, it's seen the hockey stick growth in terms of how Clubhouse and the Twitter spaces are taking off because people want to talk and want to have communication with with folks that they relate to or they find interest in. So, again, lo long answer short, uh, I, I look at the whole video aspect as just another tool within my toolbox, allowing me to reach my audience and to maybe even grow that audience a little bit more and, and provide some value and provide some service to them. Mm, nice, nice. Um, you know, and this leads directly to our next question. Um, and, and that has to do with, um, yes, you just mentioned, right, that video is interesting, right? Video allows um, you to really impact certain emotions that um, you wouldn't necessarily get, right? You don't see the person's face. You don't see the person's expressions and, and mood and, 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 and eye contact and, and, and certain things that you will have on a visual video platform. Right. Um, those are emotions that you, it's hard, not that you cannot translate, but it's hard, harder, I should say, um, to translate those through writing or through uh, podcasting and things like that, which is one of the reasons why video is one of the most popular way of producing content mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, in the global sphere. Now, you take it. A, you took it a step further, though, James. <laughs> you're not just doing video. You're doing live video, right, which is Man. a step further now. <laughs> Why not? you didn't yeah. stop at video? You decided to do live video because there's a different set of challenges. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure the other things. T talk to us. We, we, we can talk all about the challenges. And so I take it even step further. I don't do any post processing. I don't. I hmm. I turn the lights on. I press record. I fire up the microphone, and we go. So there, there could be internet challenges. There could mm -hmm. be browser challenges. My machine could be rebooting, as I was saying before we went live. You know, I'm running the, the developer's version of Mac OS right now, mm -hmm. and and I hosed my machine a couple of months ago on that. I live in that moment, and I and I love the authentic authenticity of being live in the moment, ad libbing if necessary working through those challenges working through those 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 opportunities i call them opportunities i don't call them problems right mm -hmm. i call them challenges and opportunities because that again shows the authentic nature of me delivering a message if it was too scripted it wouldn't be me right it, it would right. be fake it, it, it would be somebody else uh, you know i'm i'm not very polished right? I, I i'm really not right I, I i like to emote i like to show show true emotion and conversation, things like that. So I, I really believe that live video allows me to do that. As soon as I go live, I'm just talking to the audience or I'm talking to the person who I'm interviewing or I'm being interviewed by, as opposed to, again, uh, going back afterwards and a adding in all of the fanciness and adding. There's nothing wrong with that, right? If that's you, do that. But again, just for mm -hmm. me, I, I, I find it much more rewarding and much more authentic for me to go live, be live, and be in that moment. I, I would rather be in that moment and put it out there. And if it wasn't good enough while I was live, I don't want to try to make it better by doing some fancy Final Cut motion, mm -hmm. Adobe Premiere, or, or you know, whatever to it. I want it to be what you saw is what you get and take that with you. And hopefully it resonated with you, tell a friend and, and come back. If it did resonate with you, tell me so I can fix it or so I can get better because I liken that to I, if I'm ever in a room and I'm the smartest person in the room, I'm in the wrong room. 
right? Mm. I, I need to leave. So I, I am, I am, I am easy to listen to. I, I have a very thick skin. I, I don't take things personally. I really look at it all as constructive feedback, constructive uh, criticism, whatever the case may be. So if you see something in my environment that is not on point, JP, you, you called me a couple months ago after one of my streams and you was like, brother, look, the content is dope. You're doing what you're doing, but you need to step up on the, on these overlays and transitions. True, true. Right. So I'm, I'm putting you on the spot because you, you didn't know I was going to talk about it. But, but yeah, you that's true. And, and we talked for 45 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. And you gave me some pointers. I listened. I took notes. And not the next day, that night, probably around midnight or so, I think I sent you a message saying, brother, check out this, this work that I've been. I put in some work to, again, level up because I saw the opportunity to do what I was doing and doing it better and to, and to probably resonate more with my community and with, with my audience. So again, mm -hmm. any, any of that information is, is taken with a grain of salt and I'm, I'm here to soak it up. So I appreciate you for, for reaching out to me uh, at the moment and saying, fix your stuff. <laughs> so, so you can you can be better. So, so you know that that's what I what I think this is all about. Again, man, going going live, being real, being in the moment, uh, answering comments. Uh, you know, while you're live, I, I think that shows your attention to folks that are responding as well, as opposed to going afterwards and trying to to pretty end it up and and, and make it more presentable. No, I'm 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 me. It, it, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully, folks and enjoy the enjoy the journey. I'm here to enlighten, entertain, and educate, and those are the three missions of X New Media, and uh, I'm having fun doing it, man. No, oh, nice, nice. Enlighten, entertain, and educate. That's dope. That's you it. have a question in the comment section. You have Charles Jackson Media asking you uh, um, if you are a copywriter or more of a blogger. Can I answer that, please? Mm -hmm. I would say more from a from a blogging perspective, Charles. Uh, I've, I've gotten to the point actually where I've been quite fortunate to have uh, a number of, of agencies, organizations reach out to me and say, we have sponsored content that matches your niche on entertainment news and mm -hmm. we will pay you X number of dollars to have this published. So if it meets my editorial review, uh, we'll, we'll put it through to the those editorial reviews and we'll publish that content. So. I haven't, to be honest with you, I haven't personally written a blog post in probably a year. Uh, every, everything that's on <laughs> infotainment news right now has, has for the most part been contributed from subscribers. So I, I need to be a little more negligent in terms of writing my messages now <laughs> because I've been focused on the video thing. But I, I think I would say I'm more of a, of a, of a blogger and a and a and an editor, to be honest with you, and, and an editor in terms of what goes out from, a, from the uh, blog perspective. All right. Nice. Now, um, you know, the, the, the theme of today is credibility, right? Building credibility. Um, now let's talk about that a little bit and, and, and see exactly how did you do it? Right. Um, like you say, you've changed the I way. See, hold on. I, I, I see tall boy in the comments. Say <laughs> so you know you're what? neither. We, you think you can write. He, yeah, he, he don't know. That's all right. I, I, I love it. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, he don't does. Let like me, to put it in the conversation. Let me sit on your brother. Don't let me sit Keely on you. She she'll come with a with a. Okay, <laughs> there it is. There, I, I didn't even see the comment. There it is. I'm I'm sorry. Go ahead, brother. No, you're fine. You're fine. Hey, uh, that's what we're here for. And uh, I love the fact that our folks in the comment section are engaging, you know, with us. And that's what we love here whenever we go live. And we encourage everybody to come and join us every week here so we can connect. Like you just yeah. saying, right, whenever you're live, there are certain things that you cannot do when it's recorded, right? This type of engagement, this type of uh, connection, community building that we're um, doing right now. You yeah. cannot do this if it is pre-recorded. You have a different dynamic, a different way of connecting, a right, different right. way of, um, you know, um, asking questions, answering and engaging with the with the people that are following you. And I know one thing is uh, one of the reasons why we teach and, um, you know, I help other folks with their live streaming, um, how to pro properly go live and, and really encourage them to do it and teach the live streaming mechanics and strategies is because um, live can be the one solution for certain um you know companies or industries to get them out of the dead um, space and start generating true traffic and true engagement sometimes you just got to start doing live 
so people can start engaging with you. And then from there, traffic start flowing through uh, your doors and that helps your businesses, right? Now, <laughs> you know, it gives an aspect of realness. But yeah, like I was saying, um, credibility. You you started, uh, you shifted, right? Uh, you started using video more, um, right. but you, somebody might say, right, James, you're not a video professional. So how did you build your credibility? How um, did you establish um, that respectful um, approach where people actually take you seriously? Um, was it uh, through um, the message that you have or what was it just um, you learning from others and repeating the same thing they're doing? What's the process? What did you do? How did you do it? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a, it's a little bit of all of those aspects, right? I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to focus on focus my energy on controlling the controllables, right? And, and, and getting out of my own way, right? So, and what, what does that mean? Un understanding that, again, I think I've already made a statement that I don't wanna be the smartest person in any particular room. I always mm -hmm, wanna continue mm -hmm. to grow. I always wanna continue to evolve. I wanna be around folks that are smarter than me, more, more seasoned than me in, in whatever uh, aspect or avenue or venture that I'm in, because I, I just wanna soak that up and I want to learn. So I always also try to focus on speaking to folks instead of at folks, right? So, so that, that really helps, I think, build credibility and build yourself as someone who has a message to, to say when you're, when you're talking with people, talking to people instead of talking mm -hmm. at people, right? So, so being able to build conversations around that, have some empathy, have, have true conversations. Again, you don't have to agree on everything, but have that very similar to what Charles Jackson is doing, right? Having forums to where you, you bring different people together, you bring like-minded people together, and you actually talk about what may be that awkward conversation, but at the end of the day, you at least had that dialogue, you, you weren't afraid to have that dialogue, and you, you, you everyone grew from that experience. So mm -hmm. I, I really believe that that helps grow your, your, or increase your credibility as well by just being, being vulnerable. Right, being being open to have conversations about things that you don't, you may not be a hundred percent knowledgeable of yourself. Being being mm -hmm. smart enough to know that you're not the smartest person in the room, so you can grow right. as well. Um, no. Being being able to get rid of what I call selfish pride as well. Right, hmm. you can't do this alone. You you can't do this alone. So. I've had many conversations with you. I've had many conversations with other folks within the, in the comments or offline, online as well. But realizing that you may want to do it alone, you may want to be a solopreneur, you may want to be mm -hmm. that entrepreneur who does it all by themselves and has your name at the top of the billboard or, or whatever the case may be, but that's not how you scale. You really right. need to, to build community. You, need, you really need to build an organization that is, is moving in the same direction. Right. You really that's how you scale. That's how you can have you doing one event, someone else on your team going and do another event. You 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 you, you meet in the middle and, and you collaborate and, and, and then you build momentum from that perspective. So, again, getting rid of that selfish pride, getting out of your own way and knowing that you can't do it alone. It's very simple. Right. I'm, I'm probably giving you responses that you didn't think, but it, it's almost very common sense types of statements. Right. Being focused, knowing that you can't do it alone. Uh, mm -hmm. Staying true to your message, right? Don't 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 try to be someone who you're not, or don't try to mimic someone who's already been in the game for a long period of time. I, I love the folks that are already at the ten thousand, twenty thousand, one million, however many that's you know, subscribers on on YouTube. I love that, and I and I look at those folks and I said, you know what? I'm inspired by those folks. And I will probably take bits and pieces of their journey, but I am not trying to make myself. Uh, uh, I, I'm not trying to be Doc Rob. Right. Right. I, I, right. I, I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to be Diana Glandy. I'm not trying to be. I'm just mentioning names that uh, folks probably in, in the audience would, would know. Right. I'm not trying mm -hmm. to be them, but I will take bits and pieces and aspects of what they do if it resonates with me and my message in the direction that I'm trying to go and forge my own path. That 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 helps build credibility as well because I, you know I, I don't want to be seen as a copycat. I don't want to be seen as someone mm -hmm. who's trying to 
grow on the on the coattails of someone else. No, I really want to forge my own direction. I want to be inspired by folks that are already in the game or have been in the game a little bit further, who have fallen down and gotten back up and have some stories to tell. I'm listening to them because, look, I, I'm taking notes every single day. I, I'm in these streams to make sure mm-hmm. that I learn from these mistakes and I learn from these challenges and I grow. And then I turn to my neighbor, my brother, who's also in this in these content creation streets and say, I am tall boy. Hey, I tell him, look, let, he, he and I are on the phone every other night talking for hours about leveling up, talking about mm-hmm. strategy, talking about ideas. That's how you that's how you build credibility. That's how you build community just by being open to having those conversations with folks and again, not thinking that you can do it all by yourself, right? Doing the research, doing the planning, being prepared, knowing that when I'm coming on JP high tech stream, I'm going to make sure that, you know, my lights are right. I'm going to make sure that I'm right. I'm going to make sure that I know what I'm going to talk about, right? Don't just come in here half step and make sure that you are going to, that I am going to be respectful of you in this platform and mm-hmm. be prepared, do my research, research, know the message, know the conversation. So doing that work. And, and honestly, I really am a follower of this 80, 20 rule, right? You know, 80% of my results are going to come from 20% of the work. Hmm. That 20, that 20 percent of the work is just the fundamentals. So that's doing my research again. That's doing the planning. That's doing the communication. That's doing the collaboration. So 80 percent of my results is going to come from 20 percent of my work. It's, it's not the sexy part. Right. Because, again, that's it's the behind the scenes, me on the iPad, doing some taking down notes, writing down stuff on the back of a napkin or whatever the case may be. The 80% right. is right now when we're when we're live streaming right now. I've, I've committed mm-hmm. all of that research to memory right now so I can speak fluently and so I can speak like I know what in the world I'm talking about. But but again, mm-hmm. doing that stuff behind the scenes helps me, I feel, to come off as a credible resource talking about the content and the subject matter that we're having today. So, but I'm just, look, every day I'm just trying to get 1% better each day. <laughs> right. That's, that's 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 my goal. I you know we all have our milestones and we all have our goals, but I'm just trying to get one percent better each and every day. That's in professional, that's in personal, that's in financial, that, that's in all mm-hmm. in spiritual, that's in all aspects of my life. Just just give me one percent each day and that's that's all I need. So Fantastic. I mean fantastic elaboration on the on the question I've asked and um, I was not expecting anything less from James Higgs. I appreciate the answer. And like you said, I really, really, really like what you said, right? Do the research. Yeah. Do the research, right? Stay focused, right? Surround yourself with the smartest folks in the room. Yeah. You can't do it by yourself. Understanding that you need others to help you elevate. And as we understand and we do those things, which are the notes I'm taking as you're speaking, that will make you um, more credible, right? It's not about you not knowing it. It's about how you present the information that you're yes. about to talk about. Yeah. And that, that, that is crucial. That is everything, right? Because we can only improvise so many times. We can only swing it, right, so many times. How many times can you swing it? Right, you, go, you yeah, can you, try to it's improvise. Gonna catch up with you. It's gonna catch up with you, right? You better, <laughs> you better be real with yourself before you try to get out here and try to try to fake it too many times. So exactly, exactly, and um, that's where um, the person that might say, "Oh, I don't feel comfortable discussing a certain topic." Well, here's the deal. First, I would say one thing, right? Just like others, other guests told us here on the Content Creators University, when somebody approaches you and invites you on something that means that they see a certain credibility in you already and they have a certain respect and you know um uh, they estimate you a certain way so now the question is is it a topic that is completely out outside of your um, operations window or you simply um do not have um you know you're not used to discussing the same topic so you do not want to do the homework into getting yourself more knowledge on it, reading about it, so you can, you know, um, s- smartly talk about it, right? Yeah. Uh, be eloquent on, on, on stage. You don't want to yeah. do that. What's, what is it going to be? Even in the things that we know, like earlier, I was just telling you uh, something. I was telling you that um, you could be the smartest person in the room, as a matter of fact, right? You could be the most credible uh, individual in 2020. 
and not be credible anymore on the same exact topic in 2021. Yeah, man. How is that, James? That's crazy, right? The world stopped, right? Not not just the West Coast, not not just uh, I don't know Canada, not not just parts <laughs> of the planet. The the entire world stopped for 15 months or so, right? And hopefully, hopefully most folks got out of it or getting out of it okay, right? Just you know, mm -hmm. families are good and, and everyone's safe. Uh, I, I know, unfortunately, we, we lost a number of folks across the globe, but you know, but but for the most part, hopefully, folks leveled up their selves right mm -hmm. took, took some time because again we, we were stuck in the boxes we, we were stuck at home we couldn't, couldn't go anywhere or whatever the case may be but, but took that time to invest in yourself right either either some education some reading some some video tools or whatever the case may be bought some equipment for your your your, your business or whatever the case may be but in 2021, we really have to come at the world in a whole different way. Right? I'm not I'm not living off out of a plane or out of a suitcase like like I was many years before. Right mm -hmm. now, as all we all know, it's Teams, it's Zoom, it's it's it's, it's all that stuff, and it's, it's, it's brutal. Right again, mm -hmm. because because for one, calendars have shrunk because there's there's no commute time. So my meetings now start early in the morning. They, they start at 6 a.m. and then they may, they may not late, uh, end until 8, 9 o'clock at night because there, there's no travel, there's no commute time. So, so there, there's that unfortunate thing. But what, what the year has, has brought us is an opportunity to refocus our priorities and say, mm. one, mental health needs to be near the top of whatever list that you've got. Right. right. You, you, you can do all this other stuff that you want to do. You, you, you can you can build a, the biggest YouTube channel. You can you can have the most the most banging this podcast. You can do this, this and this. But if you're not taking care of yourself first, then you need to readjust those priorities. So, so so that being the thing right there. And I think, again, if there's any blessings of this past 15 months of COVID, I, I believe it's come more to the forefront of folks who are finding ways and means to do that take care of themselves and and be more be more present in themselves their sphere of influence their family their close friends and their relationships heck that, that's how we all really as a as an ecam community mm -hmm. let's get live community really became incredibly tight there was no place to go so we was we was online chatting with each other <laughs> getting to know each other uh building partnerships, building friendships, being, mm -hmm. building collaborations, things of that nature. So, so that would not have happened had we not had stopped, right? Had the right. planet hadn't stopped. So be, be aware of that, continue to do that even as we start opening up, continue to build relationships the right way, be, be present, uh, understand that each of these relationships that we're building Miss Nixon here is on in the line right here, right? I, I don't look at her as a, I, I, I don't feel like I'm an affiliate. I don't mm -hmm. feel like I don't feel like I'm a partner with Press and So. I feel like we're family, right? I, I talk with Sylvia and I talk with Andrew. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I talk I talk to some of these folks more on on a personal level, and I care about them. And I and I and I hope that that has been something that that's come out of this last 15 months that we realize that. Time is so valuable. We don't have much time. Mm -hmm. you know, stop, stop messing around. Um, I, I don't want to say any four letter words or anything right here on the stream. Cause I know we don't, <laughs> but you know, just, just be, just be present in the moment and be cognizant of all your engagements and all your, and all your relations that you, that you build, because they really truly are valuable. And we weren't thinking about that before we, we were just taking it for granted. I, I would have, you know, we were taking it for granted that I'm, I'm online here with, with JP high tech. He's coming all the way from Tennessee. I'm coming to you live from California, but man, this, this Amazing. is amazing. This is a blessing, right? And, and, and I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm soaking this in. I'm taking I'm full advantage of this as well. So do that for yourselves, folks, take advantage and take care of yourself from a mental perspective, mental health perspective, and really, value the relationships that you're building and that you're going to continue to build uh, in this new year. And as we continue to progress, we, we were taking them for granted for a while. We were, I'm, I'm pointing one finger at everyone else, three fingers back at me, but <laughs> absolutely, um, you know what I mean? But, but really be, be cognizant of that as we, as we progress forward in, in these days. So. 
thank you so much for that um and i'm loving what um you know sylvia said uh she said we are family and like i always say you know um if um there's one lesson that we must all learn and get engraved in our heart and on our brains is that the currency the new currency for success in this new digital age is networking mm. That's the new currency for success, um, collaboration, building uh, relationships, right? Um, because we're living in the true digital age, just like you said, California, Tennessee, and we're together doing a show, and that's how it's happening across the globe, right? Um, now, we're using technology more than anything uh, to do the things that we didn't think we'll be doing before, um, you know, shopping, grocery shopping, and, and all those type of things that everybody's doing now, using technology, now living their homes, and, and, and just having deliveries done. The world has changed. So, yeah. The way we really grow is by building community, is by building relationships, is by networking with people, is by being humble enough to know that I need to, you know, um, connect with this person so right. this can happen. And as a matter of fact, you, we never know what may come out of the relationship we're building. But the thing is, something comes out. And whenever it comes out, it's always a blessing. Uh, whenever, you know, two months are together, okay, uh, something boy, always talking. happens. Keep talking, boy. That's some good stuff right there. <laughs> man, just, just, just be present in the, in the moment because, man, y'all better get these flowers while we can. Man, this, this is some good stuff, man. This is good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, before we let you go, we've, we've gotten to the end. The show goes by so fast. Um, before we let you go, uh, let's ask you, uh, what camera and lens combination are you using today to look so dope? Huh? Would you share with us? <laughs> right. Look, I'm, I'm old school Sony. Look, I've, I've been... I started back in the day, see, I'm, I'm a little older than some folks here. So I started with Pentax back in the <laughs> old day, the old school 35 millimeter, you know? And so back in, back in Japan, when I, when I was there, I, I was shooting the old cameras, I was using Pentax. But when I got digital, I've been doing Sony since the old silver NEX cameras. And this is an A6400 <laughs> right here, uh, rocking that Sigma 16. I'm actually looking at buying another 6400. I'm trying to do the Keith Pelzer thing and have a jib and you know, and ha I'm, I'm trying to do some of those things. But yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm old school Sony, man. I, I am. Nice. Nice. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, we want to thank you so much for taking the time to teach us today on how we can build our credibility, the things to consider and to understand when it comes out to the word and how we can really elevate our production uh, by using uh, the strength that we have surrounding us. Right. Uh, use that to our advantage and really make an impact. Appreciate the way you put it tonight. It was really, really amazing. Um, we can't let you go without you telling us what are the favorite places that uh, you want people to connect with you, um, you know, and see the things, the amazing things you got going, all the conversations you're holding. Would you want to share the social platforms and things like that? I appreciate that, brother. Yeah, I mean, pretty much like you have in, in my lower third right there. Uh, I've got a landing page that has all of my, I think, most relevant uh, social platform. So solo.to slash James Hicks has all of my YouTube channel, has my, my Twitter, Facebook, and all, and all of that. So that really has turned into a hub for all of the, the online content that I'm creating, obviously trying to continue to build and elevate the community on YouTube. So YouTube slash James Hicks. I'm so close to getting... Uh, look, Vanity metrics are, are out. I don't, I don't worry about those, but I, I'm focused on getting to 1000 so I can get the community piece turned on. I, mm -hmm. I'm less worried about the partner and I'm less worried about the monetization of YouTube. I want the 1000 subscribers so I can get the community and have conversations there. That's that's what I'm jazzed about. So, again, yeah, just solo that to slash James Hicks and you'll find my affiliate relationships and all of my other social platforms there as well. Fantastic. Uh, that is really, really amazing, James. I want to thank you again. I want you to stay behind stage as I close uh, with uh, my fellows here. I'll be right with you. Hey, folks, this is it. This is the end of the show. I want to appreciate you guys for sticking around with us, right? Uh, stay in the comment section, uh, checking out this amazing conversation that we had today. If you appreciate it, go ahead and like this video. Share it if you appreciate that. And of course, if you haven't done that already, subscribe to, the, to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash JP High Tech Reviews. Um, and of course, we'll see you again next week for another amazing show with another amazing uh, professional in the IT media industry. My name is JP Hightech, your servant, and I appreciate you guys. Like I always say, be safe.
I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye, folks.